uh, at age 57, Mark Bell asked me on his podcast, he goes, Brad, why aren't you on hormone replacement? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Should I be? But like, what do you take? What's your take on all these drugs? Well, especially when it comes to like hormone replacement, which is, you know, or a huge thing. Therapy, yeah. Yeah. I put all these things in the category of, um, you know, we, uh, I'm trying to be open-minded and, and pay attention to all the optimization that we can experience today from, from advanced medicine. But it's like that talk about your diet. If you still have processed foods in the mix, why even talk about, you know, um, anything else? Or any you know, any strategy besides just getting rid of the bad stuff. Yeah. So you're saying like, fine, if you want to go there, if you're trying to be elite, yeah. but you got to take, you got to clean your house first. Yeah. And what I see is a lot of level four players going in for hormone replacement to cover up for adverse lifestyle practices. And there's a concept called aromatization, which is when you convert extra testosterone into estrogen because you have visceral fat, which causes inflammatory condition in the body. And so when you're unhealthy and you have that spare tire as evidence of your unhealthiness and your inflammatory state, and you go get a shot of testosterone or make it naturally, whatever, um, you have a tendency to convert it into estrogen. And so what happens then is if you start down the unhealthy path of getting a spare tire, it sets you up for getting a bigger spare tire because whatever testosterone you have that'll help you get that six pack instead is converted into estrogen because of the inflammatory state. Uh, the, the visceral fat secretes these things called inflammatory cytokines into the bloodstream. So it's, it's classically defined as its own organ. Your spare tire is a separate organ in the body because it has the ability to secrete a substance into your bloodstream that causes adverse inflammatory condition. And so I feel like the, the real battle in the years ahead for those of us that are over 35 or whatever is to keep that spare tire off and try to optimize hormones naturally. So if you're doing everything you can and you're checking all these boxes and now you want a little boost uh, at age 57, Mark Bell asked me on his podcast, he goes, Brad, why aren't you on hormone replacement? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Should I be? And he's like, I freaking love it. And I've talked to Mark at length about this. I had you, you had your great interview with Mark where everybody got to learn about his hormone replacement regimen. But guess what? Mark's checking 11 boxes in a row. And then the 12th one is, yeah, let me uh, optimize further because and now he's 70 years old and he still wants to kick people's butt on the Frisbee yeah. field or on and the bike. And for Mark, like, who knows? It might not even make that big of a difference because he's already so optimized. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, yeah. One could argue, like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. And one, one could yeah. argue that, um, you know, um, same with Liver King. Like, he's he's so extreme in his lifestyle that he, he would look like that even without, you know, dosing up. And so well, he's my... been posting now his photos like 10 days natty. Like he's documenting <laughs> his natural journey, right? Like, he's going to well, shrink. He, he's going to shrink. He more does attention. seem, he seems fitter. Have you been, fo you've been following. Oh, Have sure. Following? Yeah. We're he friends seems and yeah. thinner though. He does seem thinner on this. Yeah. He, well, yeah. or he just came off some like long fast or something. I don't know if he's like, following, but. I mean, that, that, so, so my answer is like, I'll be open-minded to anything that can help me live a long, active, energetic, productive life. And boy, if it comes to the time where I'm doing everything right and you I'm seeing my can. numbers take, go down the staircase, um, that's when I'm going to be really open-minded. But right now, as I've shared on my Instagram, like my testosterone, uh, serum testosterone is very high. It's down there at the optimal level for ages 20 to 30. And interestingly enough, when I was between the ages of 20 to 30, my testosterone was tanked. And I got it measured all the time because my brother worked in the, the laboratory in the hospital. And I'd come in there with my tail between my legs, like, yeah, I'm kind of burnt out again. Maybe you should take my blood. And my hematocrit, my red blood cells were suppressed and my testosterone was suppressed. And it was due to the extreme training regimen of being out there and training for hours every day. That's going to kill your sex hormones. And um, boy, it's a, it's a tough way to live, but that's the price you pay to go for elite level. But now in my 50s, I want as as a centerpiece goal hormone optimization and anti aging strategy, and that's going to keep me off the starting line of the Ironman or a marathon because those are things that are not inherently supportive of general health and longevity. Unlike sprinting and high jumping, I think are strongly correlated with peak performance and strength and power and things that you want to preserve as you age. Yeah, and what's your supplement regimen like these days? 
Well, I do. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the organ supplements, and I, I don't even know if I'd call them a supplement because it's really food yeah. in a capsule. I mean, that's true. Well, I yeah. never thought about that. And yeah. um, I love taking protein and creatine. So uh, I've taken the, the primal products for so long and now I have my own, so we can still be friends. But um, people who are you know, on this path are looking for the ones with the most research that are easy to sustain and integrate into your, um, into your regimen. And then I experiment with all kinds of crap and it's been going on forever. Of course, I've been knee deep into this stuff. Um, yeah. And so stuff comes and goes and I'm always open to experimenting. But it is sort of a chore, even for me, to just remember to take all these things and then go order more. And so I, I really, know. you know, I like yeah. the idea of being in a clean living as possible and not needing all these interventions. Um, but again, when we have the opportunity to, for example, get into a cold plunge, hey, that's great. I know the ocean's there too, uh, but or, or Lake Tahoe for me. And yeah. um, I certainly prefer open water, uh, yeah. you know, a cold experience for the nature some experience ions, and all that. Some ions right. from nature. Yeah. But if, if you don't have access to that, we want to set, set you up for success and have all these things at your disposal that you're interested in and, and want to budget for. And I think that's really fun to see people see the explosion in, in the marketplace for things like cold plunge and red light therapy and supplements and, and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. 